This screencast pertains to Module 3, Lesson 14, Problem Sets, Problems 2A through F. And again, this is the second screencast, and there will probably be at least one more, because this is a difficult lesson, and we're going to offer you all the help that we can. I just want to say that these problems in the problem set correspond with the problems in the homework, so they'll be very similar. For example, problem set 2A will be very similar to homework 2A. So you can look to these for guidance to help you through those individual problems. All right, let's start with the first one here. We have 11 and 2 fifths minus 3 and 2 thirds minus 11 thirds. Now, if we look at some of the problems we've done in the past, we know that we can either subtract these twice, we'd have two subtrahends, or we could group these and then add them, and then we can s subtract the whole group from our minuend here. And we're going to do that because uh, we have uh, common denominators here. So that's going to make it a little bit easier. So we'll write our expression. We have 11 and 2 fifths. Now again, we're going to group these two subtrahends together and make one big subtrahend. So we have 3 and 2 thirds plus 11 thirds. Now we'll solve the expression in the parentheses. So we'll copy 11 and 2 fifths once again minus, okay, uh, we know that this, we have 3 and 2 thirds, and 11 thirds would be 3 and 2 thirds once again. We'll find the sum, 11 and 2 fifths equals 6 plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds. Okay, that should be a subtraction sign there. 11 and 2 fifths minus... 6 and 4 plus 4 thirds, and that equals 11 and 2 fifths minus 7 and 1 third. Now we can uh, use our strategies here. We can change both of these to fifteenths. So we'll have 11. And if I change fifths to fifteenths, I'm multiplying by 3, so 11. And 2 times 3 is 6, 11 and 6 fifteenths minus, I'm going to have to subtract 3 by 5 to get 15, minus 5, 7 and 5 fifteenths. Well, we can simply now subtract the holes. So I can now say that 11 minus 7 is 4. And that makes 4 and 6 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths equals 4 and 1 fifteenth. As you can see, these are fairly complex. But bear with it. Do your best. And sometimes it, it, it uh, pays to persevere and learn to persevere as we get ready for state tests down the line. Okay, let's consider 2B. We have the expression 11 and 7 eighths plus 3 and 1 fifth minus something equals 15. Well, we can reason that the sum of these two numbers is going to be greater than 15. And we're going to have to subtract the amount that it is greater. So we can find the sum of this, then subtract this, and we'll find out how much greater this expression is than 15. So we're going to reason this out and we can take 11 and 7 eighths plus 3 and 1 fifth. We're going to subtract 15. That'll give us this amount right here. All right, so we're going to start by, uh, we can start by adding our whole numbers first. So I now have 
11 plus 3 is 14, plus 7 eighths plus 1 fifth, minus 15. Okay, so 14. We have to find our common denominator here, and that would be 40. And 7 eighths would be 35 fortieths. And 1 fifth would be 8 fortieths. And we'll take that and subtract 15. Now we find the sum of the two fractions. So we have 14 plus 43 fortieths. So we minus 15. So now we're going to simplify this. Uh, 40 fortieths is 1, so 14 plus 1 is 15. And 3 fortieths minus 15 equals 3 fortieths. So the number that belongs in that blank is 3 fortieths because the sum of 11 and 7 eighths and 3 and 1 fifth is 3 fortieths greater than 15. Let's continue. Okay, here's an interesting one. It's uh, a little bit like uh, one of the problems we did in the first uh, video, the first screencast. And what I'm noticing here is that I'm subtracting something. Okay, so 5 twelfths minus something, and then I'm going to put this back. Well, I can add this to my menu end right off the bat since we're going to add it back. Alright, so we can think of it this way. So I would have 5 twelfths plus 5 fourths okay minus something equals 2 thirds. Well I know that my sum here is greater than the 2 thirds. How much bigger is it? Well, once we answer that question, we can fill in that blank right there. So if we determine how much greater it is, we need to subtract. So this answer can be found by adding the sum of 5 twelfths and 5 fourths, and then subtracting 2 thirds. Then we'll find out how much greater it is than the 2 thirds. And that will give us our answer. So I'm going to now look at my denominators here. I'm not going to uh, multiply my denominators. I, I see that fourths can easily be turned to twelfths by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by three. So I have five twelfths. And if I multiply the numerator by three, I get fifteen. And if I multiply the denominator by uh, three, I get twelve. And now I have common denominators. I can simplify. I have 20 twelfths minus 2 thirds. I can now find a common denominator. And that would be twelfths. So I leave this as 20 twelfths minus, I need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So I get 8 twelfths. And when I do that, I get 12 twelfths, which is the same as 1. So I can substitute 1 in this place here, and I would get 2 thirds. Okay, another. This one's interesting in that we have a subtraction problem. We're missing the menu end. The menu end is the whole. And we have all the parts. It's, it's like one of these problems here. I'll, let me draw a tape diagram and kind of narrate what would be going on. So I have a situation where I subtract 30 and then I subtract 7 and 1 fourth and I have left over 21 and 2 thirds. So what is my whole? Okay. So again, we take away 30, then we take away 7 and a fourth, and we have 21 and 2 thirds left over. 
looking at the tape diagram, it tells us we have an addition problem. So, 30 plus 7 and 1 fourth plus 21 and 2 thirds. We can add the whole number parts. And I have 30 plus 21 is 51 plus 7 is 58 plus 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. We will find our common denominator, which is 12. And we will uh, determine that 1 fourth is 3 twelfths and 2 thirds is 8 twelfths. We find the sum, we get 58 and 11 twelfths. So in the blank here, we could put 58 and 11 twelfths. Moving along. Okay, if we look at this problem, it's a problem with a missing add end. And since we're adding, we can also easily change the order. The first thing I notice is that these are improper fractions, so I'm going to change them to mixed numbers. And I see that I have 24 fifths, which would be 4 and 4 fifths, plus blank, plus 1 and 1 seventh equals 9. I can change the order now, so I'm going to change uh, the order so that I'm adding the first and the third add end. So I'm going to have 4 and 4, that should be fifths, 4 and 4 fifths, plus 1 and 1 seventh, plus something equals 9. Okay, we'll find the sum of the whole numbers. I have 5 plus 4 fifths plus 1 seventh plus something equals 9. Now we're going to find the sum of these two fractions. So we need to find a common denominator, which is 35. We get 28 30 fifths plus 5 30 fifths. I find the sum of those. And I get 5 and 33 30 fifths plus something equals 9. All right, well, we know that when we have that missing atom, we can subtract. And I could have done this in any number of ways. But let's write this subtraction problem now, because we know that that's 9 minus 5 and 33 30 fifths. And we can now go 9 minus 5 minus 33 30 fifths. 9 minus 5 is 4 minus 33 30 fifths. And that would equal 3 and 2 30 fifths. One last one to go here. Here we have 11 and 1 tenth. You'll see that's a decimal. And we have 3 and 1 tenth. And then we subtract something and we get 99 tenths. Well, let's, let's rewrite these all as decimals. And that way we'll, we can look at it a little more clearly. So, or I could write them all as fractions. So I have 11 and 1 tenth plus 3 and 1 tenth minus blank. And 99 tenths is 9 and 9 tenths. Now, like other problems, we know that the sum of these two is greater than this. How much bigger is it? Well, let's simplify. So we now have 11 and 1 tenth plus 3 and 1 tenth, and that would be 14 and 2 tenths minus something equals 9 and 9 tenths. Okay, well, we don't know how much bigger that is, so we'll have to figure it out. So we'll now uh, subtract 14 and 2 tenths 
minus 9 and 9 tenths. Let's write that going uh, vertically. We'll regroup. 12 minus 9 is 3. And then 13 minus 9 is 4. So my answer is 4 and 3 tenths. Um, some of these aren't obvious, but listen to the reasoning. Well, there's common elements in all these problems. And again, these problems in the problem set correspond very closely to the equivalent problems in your homework. Use the reasoning here as guidance. I know it's a tough lesson. Do your best.